The start and bobsleigh is always important, but it's also very different on each track. In St. Moritz, Switzerland, it is a steep but short, and athletes have to get in before the first curve or disaster can happen. But in La Plan France, the sixth stop on the World Cup Tour, it is a long start and a very different strategy for the athletes. But there's one athlete who likes the long start on La Plan better than anyone, and that is the track record holder, Brakeman Damas Drieskens of Latvia. Last week in St. Moritz, he could not run as far as he wanted to, but in La Plana, he is looking forward to the long run. Yeah, sure, it's a different start from St. Moritz here in La Plana. It's more like Altenburg, it's, it's flat, a lot of running, but we're okay with that, we like that. The start is very long, the start time is nearly six seconds, a little bit under. It's a beautiful, crazy track, I think, and it's a little bit bumpy after St. Moritz, but it's okay. It's, a, it's, it's quite flat and it's quite long, so you really have to be, be patient in your drive phase and just put your slide out in the first couple steps and then just spin. Where St. Moritz is uh, it's a little steeper, so you, you, you're, you're not driving as long, you're more up tall and you're spinning. The difference between St. Moritz start track and here, here you have to run. Yes, uh, here is very different because you have to run very fa far. It's about 30, 40 meters for everyone. And in Zamoros it was about uh, 15 or 20 meters. It's not so far. But it's important to load very fast in St. Moritz because of the first corner. You have to sit very early. And here you can run and run and run. And uh, you have to prepare a little bit slower for the track. It's quite a difference, but we had now uh, four training runs until now and I think we get it. And I've been many times to La Plan, so it's okay. Um, most of the people say you should long as run as possible, as long as you're able to run, um, because the start is much longer and if you get in too early, the sled's going to be breaked by your body weight. Yeah, it's a lot longer. Uh, it's kind of like our push track in Lake Place. It's really flat, so you really have to keep driving, keep the drive phase going stay low as much as you can and then once that crest hits you know you got to take a few extra bigger steps and then load in and then hopefully you know you get the start time you want the velocity you want it's way too long for me as a former luge athlete <laughs> but i'll try my, to give my best to run as long as possible and to give the best speed into the sled in st moritz it's just a bit shorter and you have to load very fast when you run do you count your steps uh, surprisingly i for some reason, I count my steps everywhere I go, so I take it a little deeper here, deeper than anywhere else uh, in the world, so, uh, you know, you'll be seeing me running it pretty deep, and hopefully uh, it pays off this weekend. You know, in practice, yes, but, you know, once we get uh, to the race, it's kind of, like, instinctual at that point, so, uh, yeah, we kind of base it off practice, and then, you know, from that point on for the race, it's, you know, we just go when we want to. Just you run as fast as you can. You have to jump in before you uh, reach your your peak. Yeah. We like the start. We call the start record here. Uh, it's 473, I think. So we will looking forward to get close to it. So when you watch the competitions in La Plan, France, watch how far the athletes have to run, and sometimes you might see an athlete run too far. Bottom line. As is in all bobsled tracks, the start is the key to a podium finish.